The 2014 Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded for the development of super-resolution microscopy, which allows scientists to visualize cells at resolutions far exceeding those of previous approaches. The resulting high-resolution images have furthered our understanding of such processes as cell growth, division, and death. Improvements to the capabilities of super-resolution techniques would provide access to an even greater wealth of information. This study presents just such an improvement, called Direct Optical Nanoscopy with Axially Localized Detection, or DONALD. Super-resolution techniques generally suffer from three issues. First, the resolution along the depth of the sample, called the axial resolution, is worse than that along the plane of the microscope slide, called the lateral resolution. It is fairly simple to improve the lateral resolution, but scientists have struggled to find a way to improve the axial resolution. The second problem is that current techniques don't offer absolute axial resolution. That is, they can't tell exactly where an object is axially, only where it is in relation to other objects. Finally, the experimental setups for these techniques tend to be expensive and complex, straining the resources of the laboratories running these experiments. To address these problems, the authors developed Donald, a new super-resolution microscopy technique. This approach is an extension of the D-storm technique, which takes advantage of the blinking of fluorescent molecules. Because different molecules are on at different times, the fluorescence of each molecule can be distinguished from the fluorescence of its neighbors. These individual fluorescence signals provide the precise locations of the individual molecules. Donald differs from D-Storm in that it also incorporates information obtained from supercritical light, whose collection strongly depends on the axial position of the molecule relative to the cover glass surface. This additional information increases the axial resolution and allows the actual axial location of each molecule to be determined, not just its location relative to another molecule. Finally, the instrumentation needed for this technique is simple enough to be easily added to pre-existing D-Storm experimental setups without greatly increasing the cost and complexity. Scientists in many fields may benefit from the improved resolution that Donald makes possible. This technique may enable advances in such diverse areas as neurobiology, botany, bacteriology, pharmacology, and medicine, any field that relies on an understanding of cellular behavior. <laughs>